Hello, E Street Nation. It's Jim Rotolo, and uh, I have some saying. good news for you. Just announced, Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band have announced their 2023 international tour. The tour will start in early February in U.S. arenas, and then they'll be heading over to Europe with the first show on April 28th in Barcelona. And then uh, in late August, a round of U.S. stadium shows. And we have the pleasure of talking with the man himself, Bruce Springsteen, joining us back here on E Street Radio. Hello, Bruce. This is great news. Hello. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Very great news as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Great. Well, I know it's been a long time with everything that's gone on, but, you know, I was looking at the press release and I realized aside from the uh, the Saturday Night Live performances and the recording of Letter to You, you uh, and the E Street Band have not been on stage since 2017. It's kind of mind boggling, to be honest with you. And uh, I mean, it doesn't feel that long, but, um, you know, we stayed busy over that time, but still it's... Uh, I'm really, uh, I've got the Jones to play live very badly at this point. So I'm deeply looking forward to getting out there in front of our fans. Yeah. And I know you've been since the, you know, since Letter to You came out a few years back. I know because you, you and the band recorded that live in studio, that album is just meant to be played live. And unfortunately you were unable to, none of us were able to do anything about that at the time. Yeah. So Yeah. There'll be, there'll be plenty of that when we get out on the road. <laughs> Well, we can't wait for that. So you start in the U.S. and, and there's going to be dates and, and ticket information. All that stuff is going to be announced over time uh, here in the States and then over in Europe, playing some of your cities that love you, like Barcelona and Rome and Oslo and Copenhagen. And uh, there'll be U.K. dates announced in the future as well. Uh, just I'm sure you just like I said, you have to be thrilled to be getting ready to go back out there again. Yeah, it's it's uh, like you say, it's been a while and, uh, um, you know, I'm just aching to play, you know, and, and to actually not just play, but to travel and see our fans in all our different cities and feel that life again and see their faces again. And uh, we got an old school, you know, tour planned where we'll be out there for quite a while and give everybody a chance to see us if they'd like to. Um Going to rehearse in January, start, as you said, in the state's arenas in February, right in the beginning of February there, run that through uh, March, April, I guess, and then in May, head over to Europe and uh, run that through the beginning of August and then uh, come back to the States, play a few summer shows outside. And uh, uh, we're eventually going to get to Australia and New Zealand and uh uh, back around again so it's, it's an old school East street band uh, uh lengthy tour that we're going to be involved in and everybody's very excited about it uh, last question because i know you have to go and i don't want to keep you i know the tour is a little far away because you know it's not till next year but uh are you do you start thinking about set lists do you start thinking about how you want to add new songs into the into the set or is that all kind of come oh, together yeah. during rehearsal no, I uh, I think about I already I already wrote out a set list. So uh, <laughs> just just to have something to do and an idea of like well, we could start from here and see where it's going to go. You know, uh, you don't know till you get out there and, and test them in front of the audience. And then because of the way we are, we we after a short period of time we start switching it up anyway, just to keep it interesting for us and. Uh, and because we have so so much uh, such a big body of work at this time, so uh, uh, it'll uh, it'll have a significant amount of of some recent material, and and then of course we'll be playing a lot of the music that the fans have become familiar with and 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 love to hear, and uh, it should be a balance of 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 good things. The show should feel contemporary, and it should also make you feel at home at the same time. So that's our uh that that's our our goal that sounds wonderful and and when you mentioned uh, uh recent material does that include western stars as well no we may you know i i like to keep it a rock show basically you know it's like i always feel like once you're out in an arena or in a stadium you know people have come to see a, a rock and roll show that's that's you know if i was going to do a 
the interesting thing to do with Western stars would be do what to do what I did with the film, where I take a theater or something and play it from start to start to, start to bottom, you know. Uh, but you never know; something something may squeak in there, you know, from from that record. It's not impossible. Uh, I got that one. I'm going to have to wait and see. Well, we can't wait and see you and the E Street Band back on stage throughout the U.S. and Europe. And this is uh, exciting. I know you're excited. The band's excited. We're excited as well. So we look forward to seeing yeah. you back out on the road in 2023. Yeah, people can expect a full tilt rock and roll show. Well, we certainly can't wait. Bruce, thanks for taking the time to join us All here right. on the radio. We'll talk again soon. Take care. You got it. Thanks. <laughs>